Empezamos con Facundo Torres, el nuevo líder de, de marcar goles en la historia del club. Facu, ¿qué significa para ti para, para marcar ese, ese récord acá en Orlando? Eh, no, muy, muy contento, muy feliz. Eh, cuando llegué aquí vine con mucha ilusión de, de hacer cosas buenas para, para el club, poder ayudar desde donde me tocaba. Eh, era la primera vez que que salí de Uruguay, tenía muchas dudas, mucho, mucho nerviosismo y, y nada, hoy tener este presente y, y poder marcar esta cantidad de goles me, me pone muy contento y, y muy feliz de que las cosas están saliendo bien. Yeah, obviously, uh, very, very happy. Uh, you know, when I when I arrived at the club, I came here with a lot of uh, dreams to be able to do do great things here at the club and to to help the club in in whatever way they asked me to to help. Uh, it was the first time that I had ever really left Uruguay and to you know, coming here, I had a lot of doubts. I had a lot of anxiety. So to be able to to score that quantity of, of goals for this club just makes me makes me really happy to to be able to do that. If I could just your recent run of form in in the last ten MLS games, you've had a goal or assist in eight of them. What's been working for you so well that you've been able to have this this kind of streak over the last ten MLS games? En la racha de como 10 partidos para ti tienes 8, en 8 de los partidos tiene un gol o asistencia. ¿Qué está funcionando para ti en esa racha? Eh, nada, creo que sobre todo las ganas y, y el hambre de, de hacer gol, de hacer asistencia, ayudar al equipo, querer ganar. Eh, vengo todos los partidos con la misma gana de siempre. Eh, quiero ganar donde sea y, y tratar de ayudar al equipo como pueda y, y nada, creo que, que esa es la principal razón, le, a veces mis compañeros me dicen que me desespero por hacer un gol o por hacer una asistencia y creo que esa es la principal razón de, de poder seguir en, en esta racha. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, just, it's 
just coming in to, to try and win whatever we can. It's the, it's the drive. It's, it's that hunger to be able to score goals and to, to help the team in, in whichever way that I can. And so uh, to, to really have that, the, the entire team comes in with that mentality. The whole team is that same way. So uh, being able to support the team in whatever way they have and uh, having my teammates be in those positions to, to support me and push me forward, uh, whether that's scoring or, or assisting on goals, I'm really happy to be able to help the team in that way in this run. Just for your goal tonight, um, just run me down what kind of what you saw within that play and also just how big of a goal it was considering how kind of stretched the game was getting in that early part of the second half. Uh, para tu gol esta noche, si puede describir qué miraste en, en el gol y si puede describir cómo tan gran, uh, grande fue ese gol en el momento del partido. Sí, sí, eh, nada. Eh, cuando a Luis le queda la pelota, Luis le intenta dar el pase primero al delantero, yo ya venía solo, yo le dije eh, si me la podía dar antes y nada, rebotó y justo ahí sí me, me miró y yo ya estaba solo. Y nada, cuando Luis me la da ya tenía el arco ahí enfrente, eh, traté de pegarle fuerte, el golero la tocó, pero nada, por suerte pudo entrar igual. Y, y nada, un gol importante, el partido estaba cerrado, el equipo de ellos eh, es duro, se, estaban bien defensivamente y nada, por suerte pudimos abrir el partido ahí. Y después, con la, como dijo el profe hoy, con la entrada de, lo, de los compañeros que vinieron del banco, nos ayudan muchísimo a darle energía. Y bueno, Duncan trajo otro gol. Eh, y nada, nos llevamos una linda victoria hoy. Yeah, you know, uh, when uh, Luis first got the ball, he uh, he tried to play it uh, into to one of our forwards. I told him, uh, I, I actually told him I was all alone on that, so he could have he could have played me earlier. But uh, thankfully, we were able to to recover the ball again. And uh, then he saw, looked up, and saw that I was still uh, still all alone. So he played me in, and I was in front of goal. And then uh, so I shot it, and. Uh, you know, the, the goalkeeper was able to get a touch to it, but thankfully it still went in anyways. Uh, and then, uh, as, as Oscar said, uh, or in terms of the goal, it was an incredibly important moment for us. Uh, the game was really closed off at that time, so to be able to, to break through was, was great. And as Oscar said in the warm-ups and even in the post-game speech, the, the guys that came off the bench did a fantastic job and, and really uh, really helped us change the game. Duncan came in and had an, another goal, and it, uh, it really helped us win a great win tonight. Uh, Faku, congratulations on the goal and the win. Um, Luis had two assists tonight. Um, he, he had a very difficult first half of the season, but he's really come on this half. Uh, what what does it mean for the team to have him in the form that he's been in since the return to league play? Felices en tu gol y, y en la victoria. Uh, Luis Muriel uh, se tuvo dos asistencias esta noche. En la primera parte de la temporada se tuvo dificultades de, de ajustar a la liga, pero ahora está uh, marcando y, y se tiene asistencias. ¿Cómo significa al equipo para tener él en, en los estadí, estadísticos? Eh, muchas gracias, primero que nada. Y nada, como dije, sí, los compañeros que que están viniendo desde el banco, eh, nos están ayudando muchísimo. El día de Columbus también, eh, la remontada que tuvimos ahí, que casi pudimos empatar fue gracias a ellos. Hoy también los goles vinieron eh, con asistencia de Luis. Eh, la verdad que los compañeros que vienen del banco nos no dan mucha ayuda. Es eh, verdad que hay 11 que inician, pero ellos son tan importantes como, como los que iniciamos. Y la verdad que tener un equipo así de competitivo y, y saber que ahí también tenés una competencia con tus compañeros, eso... Ayuda a crecer el nivel y, y en los partidos también. Eh, ellos entrando del banco nos dan muchísima energía y, y nada, ojalá Luis, tanto Luis, Nico, Duncan, que hoy entró con un gol, eh, puedan seguir así. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, all of the guys uh, recently that have been coming off the bench have been incredibly helpful for us, especially in the game against Columbus. Uh, the, the guys that came off the bench in that game really helped us push for that comeback and, and got us to a point where we were almost able to equalize in that one. Uh, you know, today, Luis coming off the bench was able to get two goals. Uh, you know, it's uh, Nico Ladero has been has been crucial for us. Duncan McGuire, who had a had a goal today. All of the guys coming off the the bench are incredibly important for this team. You know, only eleven guys start, but everyone on the team is just as important. It's uh, you know, it's obviously a competition between your own teammates to try and get those starting spots, but that only helps raise the level of of play amongst everyone in the team. So it's uh, really important to have him going. You, uh, you now have six straight wins in MLS play at home. What, what has changed for the club at home? What has changed for you guys to, that what you're able to get the results that you weren't able to get earlier in the season here? Six victories consecutivas acá en casa en la MLS. 
¿Qué se cambió desde el primer tiempo, uh, primer parte de, de la temporada hasta ahora? Eh, no, la verdad que sí, jugar en casa a nosotros nos sienta muy cómodo, el apoyo de la gente es muy importante para nosotros, por eso nosotros queremos mantener el, el cuarto lugar para, en playoffs para, para poder jugar de local o al menos definir de, en casa, eso nos ayuda muchísimo y... Y nada, se ve en, lo, en la estadística, en los resultados, que en casa nos sentimos muy bien. De visitante no va bien también, pero aquí en casa es, es mucho más, más cómodo. Sí, yeah, you know, I think uh, we've, we've really just been pushing uh, this, this last part to, to do as best we can. We know that we didn't do so great at the start of the season, but now, especially right now where we're in playoffs, we're trying to push to lock up that fourth spot to give us a chance to have home field advantage and at the very least, you know, finish off that first series here at home if we need to. Uh, you know, I was looking at the stats earlier and, you know, we've really turned it around. We're great at home. We're doing really well on the road as well, but uh, we, feel, we feel like we're really playing well here at home tonight. Fagu, congratulations. Seems like since you came here, the club or you have been breaking a bunch of records, but you haven't lifted up the championship trophy yet. So what is it going to take for you guys to get past the leaders of the league, you know, Miami and LA and those guys, to lift the trophy? A mí me parece de, desde que llegaste, el club o vos están quebrando un montón de records en el club, y, pero no han levantado el trofeo del campeonato todavía. Eh, ¿Qué tienen que hacer ustedes para, para, eh, para ganarle a esos equipos que, están lo, que son los líderes en la liga como Miami, Los Ángeles, para poder levantar el trofeo del campeonato? No, son equipos duros. Eh, Columbus, Miami, Los Ángeles, son equipos que, que van a estar definiendo la liga. Eh, nosotros lamentablemente dejamos muchos puntos en el camino, muchas veces con equipos que que uno a veces dice hay, son ganables y, y tenés un poco de traspié ahí y se te complica. Nos sacaron una ventaja, eh, pero sí, a esos equipos son los partidos más importantes que ahí ojalá el equipo tenga los resultados que, que buscamos para poder conseguir el, el trofeo, que es lo que todos buscamos. Yeah, no, those are those are all really uh, really difficult teams to play against, and their teams right now, you know, Miami, Columbus, LA, those are teams that are defining uh, the the state of the league right now. So we know that uh, at the at the start of this year, we we left some points out there in some in some difficult phases for us that uh, complicated our season a bit more. But now we just want to put ourselves in the best positions that way when we go and face them, we've got uh, we've got a better better chance to take them on and and hopefully lift that trophy at the end of the year. Feeling. Luis, uh, dos asistencias esta noche y una victoria importante. ¿Cómo, siente, ¿Cómo te sientes y cómo siente el equipo? Bueno, primero que todo contento porque el equipo ganó. Contento de las asistencias. Contento de que eh, poquito a poquito, como lo dije en la entrevista pasada, eh, voy entrando en esos mecanismos, voy sintiéndome mejor y se ve en el campo. Eh, entonces, contento por eso. Hey, you know, uh, just with everything really happy happy with the uh, happy because the team was able to win tonight happy uh, with my two assists uh, happy because as i said in my last interview i'm i'm starting to get involved in the mechanism more and and really really start to feel more comfortable here uh, in in the way that we play and it's starting to to show out on the pitch so you know just uh, really happy kind of talking about that what has changed for you just in terms of feeling more comfortable um it, it's obviously been a slow process for you but is there anything that has kind of stood out to you that has really changed for you hablando de eso que que se cambió en términos de, de sentir más cómodo acá en los mecanismos acá eh yo creo que más que cambio fue fue un proceso eh, 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 el encontrarme cosas nuevas para mí este, fue, fue algo que de pronto no me esperé que, que, que costara tanto, pero más que cambiar algo fue un proceso, eh, adaptarme al, al, al fútbol, a la MLS y luego eh, poder sacar lo mejor de, de mí, de mis características y, y creo que más que cambiar fue eh, el, el seguir ese proceso con calma, con paciencia y, y sabiendo que estos momentos iban a llegar y, y poder demostrar finalmente lo que es Luis Muriel. 
Yeah, I think more than uh, more than a change, it's it's more about uh, the the process that that I've been going through. Right when I when I first arrived here, there was a lot of there was a lot of new things, and uh, you know those those things had cost me a bit at, at the start. But I think more than change, it was just following and continuing to stay on that process, following that with with calm and patience, and knowing that uh, if I'm able to follow that process and adjust and and learn more about uh, the way the MLS plays, that those moments will come. And thankfully, I think we're we're at that point where I'm starting to get towards. Uh, towards the end of that process. Just with, with your understanding of your teammates, uh, I mean, with the pass to, to Duncan for that goal, uh, it seems like the, the cohesiveness within your team has started to get a little bit better of just understanding where players are going to be running. Uh, have you kind of felt that just understanding more with your teammates? Uh, hablando de, de esa eh, comprensión de, de tus compañeros, tiene más comprensión en, en tu asistencia a Duncan. Uh, la química de, de los compañeros apare, aparece mejor y que puede encontrar tus compañeros en la cancha un poco más fácil. ¿Es, es así? Es eh, lo que hablaba antes, es parte de ese proceso, ¿no? que los compañeros me conocieran, yo conocerlos eh, en estos meses. Eh, eh, tal vez Duncan eh, te, tres meses atrás en vez de correr recto corría hacia afuera y el pase no iba a ser igual entonces eh, es que ellos me conocieran y yo conocerlos y creo que es el, 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 el fruto y el, 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 la respuesta a ese trabajo a ese proceso que yo quería que fuera más corto pero fue un poco más largo entonces eh, llega un momento muy muy bueno porque estamos a las puertas de playoff Y, y, y lo bueno de esto es que viene lo más importante y es cuando está saliendo eso y entonces estoy muy contento. Yeah, you know, as, as I was saying before, that's that's a part of that process, right, to be able to find those things. Uh, looking back three months ago, you know, when Duncan and I were playing together, I would expect him instead of, you know, he would, uh, I would want him to go straight and instead he would he would go outside and that kind of changes the way that, that uh, pass functions, right? So, uh, you know, as we started to continue to train and, and find ourselves in games, that comprehension, uh, comprehension got better of where to find each other and as I said, it was a part of that process, a process that, you know, I'd hoped uh, would be a little bit shorter but ended up being a little bit longer but uh it was the fruit and the answer of of that process that's now showing itself in a really good time because we're right there on the doorstep of playoffs so um you know i'm just really happy to see that process uh start to produce results as we as we get into this really important moment of the season uh louis congratulations on the two assists um i'm just curious as to um you know how did you stay positive through this process and 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 keep going and keep working and, and how much did Oscar and your teammates help you with that process? Uh, felicidades en las asistencias. Uh, estoy curioso cómo fue, uh, cómo mantiene eh, una mentalidad positiva durante ese proceso y cómo te ayuda Oscar y tus compañeros en ese proceso también. Es, es difícil, es, es, es muy difícil porque Obviamente siempre quiero jugar y, y, y el hecho de que de pronto no, no, no arranque los partidos desde el inicio eh, hace que sea un poco difícil ¿no? la situación, el, el, esto de que hablo del proceso. Es, eh, Oscar juega un papel muy importante, me habla casi todos los días. Eh, mis compañeros eh, siento de parte de ellos también la confianza cuando me hablan. Eh, dale que eres importante para nosotros, eres importante y nos vas a ayudar, nos vas a ayudar, nos vas a ayudar. Todo eso me ha ayudado para mantenerme tranquilo, para tener una cabeza fuerte y para saber que esto iba a llegar. Eh, aún teniendo la experiencia y la, la, la digamos, la trayectoria en, en tantos años en Europa, cuando cambias de liga siempre hay algo que cambia. Algunos, para algunos es más fácil, para otros es, es un poco complicado, como lo dije Hubiera querido que, que, que fuera más fácil para mí, más corto, el adaptarme, pero bueno, eh, los tiempos son estos y, y estoy muy contento de que llegue en este momento tan crucial para nosotros. You know, I think, uh, you know, it's, it's difficult, right? When, when you show up somewhere, you always want to, you want to be playing right from the start. You want to, you want to have that impact right at the beginning. Uh, and when you hit that stretch of games towards the beginning where it's 
not happening where you're not starting, you're not playing as many games, it can be difficult. And Oscar played an incredibly important role in that process for me. Uh, he spoke to me almost every day, you know, continuing to, to show belief in me. My teammates, same thing, uh, continued to bring me into to the group saying, you know, we, you're going to help us, you're going to help us, uh, and just continuing to push me in that. Uh, and thankfully, you know, in, in my career, I've had experiences like that, especially in Europe when you change leagues, you know, everything's going to be, there's always going to be something that's different. So, uh, you know, for some, it's it's easier. For some, uh, some of those changes are more difficult. Like I said, for me, I, I'd hope that this change would be, would be easier and a little bit shorter, but that, uh, you know, that wasn't uh, how it happened. So uh, it was important for me to maintain that positive mentality to be able to get to this point in the process. Uh, do you feel like Orlando City fans are seeing the true Luis Muriel now, or is there even a higher level that you can show them, um, you know, that you can reach? Sientes como, uh, como las hinchas de Orlando están mirando a Luis Muriel verdadero o que si sientes como hay un nivel más de eso que puede mirar? Creo que todavía me falta mucho, me falta mucho por mostrar porque de verdad que, que, que no estoy todavía, digamos, al 100, digamos, como quisiera, como quisiera estar. Es parte del proceso, ahora mucho mejor, pero... Pero seguramente que quiero ya que, que llegue ese momento de poder, eh, no, no solamente 20 minutos, sino por 90 minutos el nivel de pronto de, lo, de estos 45 de, de hoy. Eh, entonces eh, yo espero que lo sigan viendo. Eh, agradezco eh, a, los, a los hinchas la paciencia porque de verdad que, que, que han sido pacientes eh, eh, en esperarme. No ha sido fácil porque pues, sé de la importancia de... De, de lo que era mi llegada aquí para el equipo y el equipo me ha ayudado mucho en ese sentido a, a mantener alto el nivel durante los partidos que estuve ausente, digamos, de nivel y, y ahora con ganas de, de, de estar al nivel de ellos y, y poder ayudar a eso para lo que me trajeron. I think uh, I think there's still a lot that I have within me to show. You know, I think uh, I think I've been showing more and more, but uh, that process of, of getting to this point, I think there's still there's still plenty more that, that I can show. You know, obviously today was 45 minutes, but uh, I want to get to the point where it's 90 minutes and where I'm showing that throughout the entire game. Uh, I know how important my my coming to the club was. They've they made me feel that as well, and have continued to push me in in that process to to try and raise my level to to the expectations that I also had for myself when coming here. Um, but uh, you know, it's it's just continuing to push and raise raise myself uh, up to that level that I expect and that my teammates expect of me as well. All right, everyone. We're gonna wrap things up here with head coach Oscar Freya. Oscar, uh, again, congratulations on another win for the team. Um, obviously, the team seems to be peaking at the right time, heading into playoffs. Just how are you feeling after this match and in this moment in time? Uh, we, we are uh, uh, obviously uh, very happy and uh, satisfied with uh, the way the team uh, found a way to win games and uh, put us in this spot and the standings and at this time of the season another another hard game uh well played by us um we could have had more um precision on certain moments when we could have put the game away from philadelphia but we end up just uh, finishing in a two-one with a very tight plays at the end with them pushing and 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 um, and really made making us feel that they could be a tight game. But uh, but but overall, I thought we were the best team in the pitch and uh, we beat uh, one of the best teams in the league for me. Go on, Michael. Uh, Oscar, congrats on the win. Uh, it it seemed like the the attack had a little trouble connecting in the first half. Uh, Luis comes in in the second half. You made that change at halftime, and he started unlocking the defense, not only with the two assists, but there were three or four other really good balls that mm -hmm. sent guys in behind or, or nearly did. Uh, what is going on with him in terms of, of how he's now starting to click into place in the process mm -hmm. in, in your attack? It's true. Uh, I thought that today's uh, game, uh, Luis, uh, came and defined in those uh, uh, precise moments with that talent and uh, put us in in front of the goal and and uh, it was definitely a fantastic night for him 
I think the way he is adapting to us, uh, to the group, has has been much much better. Every day it looks like uh, he's yelling with what uh, what we want, and a good timing also. A good timing also. Uh, I'm very happy for him, and I know the the group is uh, valuing a lot what he's doing it. And uh, it represents uh, the unity that we have. Uh, and, and I say to the players, sometimes if you don't start the game, that doesn't mean that you're not important. Uh, you may be the best team, the best player of the, f of the pitch today. And you come from the bench, like happened to tonight. Uh, on the flip side of that, the the last 25 minutes of the game was very complicated for your defense. And we saw this again. Um, at FC Dallas when they uh, had a lot of opportunities, Philadelphia tonight. What can you do moving forward when you are ahead in a tight game to to get your team more control and, and you know take the air out of the game and maybe uh, limit the opportunities the other team is having? Right, so it's something that is happening that we don't want to get through. Uh, having control of the game the whole 90 minutes is not an easy task. I prefer to defend higher in the field and put pressure on the other teams and having the ball. Michael, the other team plays well. And what it changed the story of the game, unfortunately, today is the goal that Philadelphia scored today was not a throwing. It was very clear. The referee was 10 yards from that play. And in a small detail, changed things. And then tie the game in a position or put the, the team in a stress for us that it was very unfair. Uh, and then after that, we w w we just get uh, very tense because it was two to one, and, but we were dominating the game. So it's not just us, but we're going to correct that. But today, that goal, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be called because it was not a throwing. And I don't know if the people notice it, but 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 it was not a throwing. It was very evident. And I've, I'm, I was upset with that. And and then after that, what you say, Marco, is correct. I, I think we need to find a way to get out of that pressure, that pressing, that those moments when we we see that it's very evident that the goal is coming against. And we have to get better, for, of course. Gustavo? Hey, Coach. In the beginning of the season, or in preseason, when you guys added Nico and Luis, a lot of people picked you guys as the team to beat, at least in the East, right? Um, but obviously, you guys got off to a slow start, but it seems like now those two guys are really, you know, in tune with the rest of the squad and vice versa, right? Everybody's familiar with each other. It shows on the field. So what should the expectations be right now as you guys are inching into the playoffs? Um, I'd rather better just uh, keep uh, our players and our team working without just uh, <laughs> putting ourselves in that in that spot. That everybody say that we have to win because this uh, we have to prove it. So we have that experience at the beginning of the year where everybody was saying that we should have won the league and. And I say, well, you know, we have to go and prove it. We have to go and win games. And in the first semester, we were, I think it was in the third, 13th place in the standings. And everybody was so upset, and, and we, we, were, we were crap. Uh, now, uh, it seems like our favorite is again. So you're telling me, and I say, we're not, we're not any of those two. We are a team who is working every day to win games and I hope that we can give to our club and to our fans the biggest prize but we have to earn it every single game doesn't need to be said that you're favorite or not we're not any favorite we're just a team that works every day awesome <laughs> Oscar uh, Faku scored his 45th career goal across all competitions he's now the club leader in goal scored um, when you look at the player he was when you brought him in in 2022, for the growth that he's been able to accomplish over the last two years, just how proud are you, are you of him for what he's been able to do and uh, 
relatively short time uh, with this club to, to you know, now top the charts in the goal scoring. Yeah, I'm very happy for Vaku. Very proud of the way it has evolved. Uh, maturing and carrying us in his shoulders when we need him the most. Uh, I see a player who has embraced that responsibility, uh, understanding that uh, that's what is going to make it uh, uh, be the one that we all that we all want. So he's doing a great job. I've seen in that regard. Um, Faku is the protagonist of the games, and and with consistency, he's carrying this group. Uh, you should see him in the locker room leading to, and not just in, in the pitch, but in the locker room. So uh, he's growing as a leader of the team. is is tremendous too. He's maturing. He's very young, but he's embracing that responsibility. I just want to ask you about uh, Mikey Holiday. It's been a while since he's seen the pitch. I think back in May was the last time he played, obviously mm -hmm. with injuries and such. But just how how beneficial was it to to get him a little bit of a run out tonight, especially as uh, playoffs are closing, and just to have another piece that you mm -hmm. can choose from? It's true. Michael uh, has trouble with that injury. But after that, I have not gave him too many opportunities. And... Uh, uh, fortunately, today he had that one, and he proved one more time that he's a soldier for us, and, and he's ready to compete. Um, I saw him very healthy and very engaged in the game. So happy for Michael that he, he will help us for sure.